Hey, this is Tommy Hodges, and welcome to another edition of DigitalMediaTutorials.com. This is part two of our black and white project. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint. I'm going to show you how to adjust the master diameter of a paintbrush, the hardness of the paintbrush, softness of a paintbrush, how to use the eraser tool and adjust the sizes of your eraser tool, use the zoom tool, the hand tool, and adjust the opacity of your layer. All of these are essential in order to paint your black and white image. Look at your layers palette over here on the right. Let's go ahead and label this. Right now it says layer zero. Double click on the name and let's call this original. Now, down at the bottom, make a brand new layer. Boom. And now let's call layer one jeans because we're going to start off by painting the jeans. Grab your paintbrush. Let's pick a color. This is our foreground. This is our background. If you click on the double arrows, by the way, it switches them, flip flops them. And also this little guy, if you click on that, will restore everything back to its original default. Black for the foreground, white for the background. So I'm going to click on this, pick blue. Okay, this is an example of a hard edge paintbrush. Notice if we go up to the top of the page below the word Photoshop, click on this little icon, you'll see uh, these guys are your hard edge brushes. These mean they're soft because they have a soft edge. So let's pick number 13 and I'll paint with it. Notice it has a hard edge. Okay, go back to the top. I'm going to pick a soft edge brush, number 13 soft edge. Put it right below it. Notice it has a really nice soft edge to it. That's why it's called soft edge. A little advice, when you're painting your image, I would stay clear of any soft edge brushes that counts for the paintbrush and the eraser tool. So if I wanted to erase this, I can grab my eraser tool here. And right now I'm trying to erase, you know what, my brush is just not big enough. Go up to the top, click on your brush icon, change the master diameter. If you drag the master diameter to the right, it makes your brush larger. See that? Look how big it is. Move your master diameter to the left and it makes it a lot smaller. So I'm going to move it back to the right. Boom. Wipes everything out. Look at that. Now, go back to my paintbrush. Make sure I used a hard, use a hard edge brush and I'm going to start painting. It's a blue blob. Don't like it. Can't see the jeans. The solution, look at your jeans layer. Look at opacity. Drop the opacity down. That's all you have to do. You just experiment with the uh, the percentage by dragging the bar. By the way, when you're dragging the opacity down, you're actually allowing uh, yourself to look through that particular layer that you're affecting. So that's what's happening here. You can see through the layer, basically. While you're painting, you may feel the need to get closer to your image as you're painting because it's kind of hard to see. Easy solution, use the zoom tool. Here it is. Click on it once, and up at the top of the page, you have plus and minus, plus and minus. Click on the plus, then click anywhere on your image, and you can zoom in. Now you can grab your paintbrush and continue painting. Let's say you want to move over. Check this out. Hold down the space bar, and notice it changes the icon from the paintbrush to the hand, and now you can move left and right to move your image around and release the space bar to continue painting. That also works with the eraser tool and uh, any other tool by the way. If you're using the eraser tool and uh, you're erasing and you need to go over some more, hold down the space bar, move over. Also to zoom out, if you hold down control and the minus key, you can tap it to zoom out. Hold down control and the plus key to zoom in. And you can use your space, hold down the space bar and grab the hand to move around. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Now you know how to adjust the master diameter and the hardness and the softness of a brush. You know how to erase. You know how to use the zoom tool, the hand tool, and you know how to adjust the opacity in order to see through a layer. I'm Tommy Hodges, and thanks for watching DigitalMediaTutorials.com. See you in part three of the Black and White Project.